Hello everyone, my name is Adthor, and welcome back to my Fire Emblem 6 random deployment, Iron Man. We're on chapter 4 here, which um, is one of the tougher chapters in Binding Blade. Actually, when I do hard mode Iron Man's, this chapter and chapter 7 are usually the ones where I'm most likely to get someone killed. So, hopefully that doesn't happen this time. We'll try to play a little more carefully than in Chapter 3 and not leave Lance exposed to death chances or uh, low percent crits. So, I mentioned how the last chapter was not that bad because despite the enemies getting lots of hard mode bonuses, they were in a really terrible class, Soldier. This chapter, the enemies get the much better class of Cavalier. So, they can have up to, like, nine defense um yeah nine defense 30 hp when some of my units only have 10 attack so they're pretty hard to take down uh you need a lot of units ganging up on them also most of them are fast enough that marcus can't double like this guy has eight speed marcus only has 11. however since our marcus has halberd access he can one-shot. So, first move is to have Chad give Marcus the halberd. And we won't need the armor slayer this chapter, so we can store that. Uh, and I want to put Marcus where he will be in range of both of these calves. And equip the halberd. Okay. And... This guy has a sword equipped, so I will bait him with boars who won't take too much damage. And from here, uh, I can flink at him from range. Um, sadly, the halberd does not do effective damage against nomads. Um, so the nomads will be annoying. But if Marcus can kill both of these calves, then we can gang up on the nomads, no problem. Ellen will be, she can go here and be ready to heal whoever needs healed. She will take the men's staff from Merlinus because her heal is running out. Uh, Merlinus will take the armor slayer and, oops, meant to store it, but doesn't make a difference. I like to not keep valuable items on my units when I don't need them, just in case something goes terribly wrong and they die. Um, because in FE6, if you die, your inventory is lost forever. Let's get Deke down here. He needs to be in melee to attack. Alright, and yeah, he's just out of the Nomad's range. We'll get Lou over here too. Calves. Uh, yeah, a lot. Wade still doesn't have any weapons, but we can buy him some this chapter. Might as well proc his support. Okay. And Shanna extra wants to avoid the nomads. She can hang out here. And Roy can wait here. So our turn limit for this chapter um, is 15 turns until Dragon shows up, but the regular game already has reinforcements coming from behind Cavaliers on turn 11, so we're already incentivized to get out of here before Dragon shows up. Now, if things go well, and we can have the boss more or less dealt with by turn 10, then we can go back and farm the cav reinforcements for some extra XP. But, okay. So the good thing with nomads, with the other calves dead, we have time to safely box in this nomad if necessary. So Marcus can still one-shot this guy, although 
his hit rate is not so good against a sword. But... I should be able to surround the Nomad regardless, so... I'm gonna try it, just because one-shotting would be convenient. And it works. Alright. I'm less worried about distributing XP optimally on this map, since it's very easy to get overwhelmed here. Alright. We'll let Shanna use the lan Iron Lance so she does more damage. And yeah, she is just out of enemy range. Nice place to be. Uh, Deke could do up to 12. Lou would be a good person to feed a kill to. He does 7, so... I can do 8. And... Uh, Lance can't get to top. Eight and eight. Okay. That should let me feed a kill to whoever. So, with Halberd Marcus, this map is not that bad. Alright, you missed. That's okay. So, I think... We just give this to Lou and kill next turn. Uh, our hit rate with a javelin is going to be pretty sh Well, I guess Ellen doesn't have anything better to do, so maybe we should try. Yeah. All right, that did hit. Good job, Lance. All right, and the Nomad is dead. So yeah, if we can keep cleaning up the enemies as fast as they come to us, then we won't get overwhelmed. We also don't actually want to move too far ahead here because Rutger is going to spawn here on turn six and he's the same turn reinforcement so he can charge and use his killing edge to crit someone over here and even Marcus uh, can't survive a crit from Rutger. So. so we want to wait until he arrives to advance too far. Uh, does Boris have- Boris has a vulnerary. Boris can use his vulnerary. So, Merlinus has absolutely nothing important to do here. He can go get the village. This is, like, one of the worst villages in the game. It, it gives a door key. But, free treasure is better than nothing. Here come more calves. And there is Clarine. So she's going to show up turn four. So what do these guys have? Iron Lance, Iron Lance, Iron Sword. Oh, I should have had somebody give Marcus a Vulnerary. So... As we saw last turn, it takes most of our units to take out one of these guys, which means for now we want to back up and let Marcus enemy phase some guys. Three, four, five, six, seven. However, he also would like to have somebody's vulnerary. Let's have. Shanna maybe trade with him. There you go. And she is safe up there. Who needs healing? Is anybody? I guess... Oh, Clarine can reach Marcus anyway. Or not Clay. Ellen. So, we can heal Marcus and then... He has a vulnerary if he needs it later. Okay. So, everyone else, just retreat back here. So, one, two, three, four. 
four, five, six, seven. We can reach all the way to there, but we can stick Marcus in front of the bridge here to guard everyone. Oh, you're going to be able to shoot pretty far. Let's get fours across. Roy can get over here. He's gonna get shot. Oh yeah, no man cannot reach Roy, okay. Deke getting shot at isn't really any worse than Marcus getting shot at. Uh, I mean, Walt does not have room to retreat anywhere. We can rescue him if we need to. can't drop. Well, once again, he can just... Does the Nomad one round him? Yeah, okay. The Nomad one round KOs him. So I should have done this in a little bit of a different order, but it will be okay. And Lance... 9 speed drops to set, so even with a javelin, he's not getting doubled. So he can do this. Okay. And I guess we can enemy face the sword guy. Keep the halberd and wait. Okay. And Merlinus gets our free 50 gold. Though, we will actually want Dora and Chess Keys this run, because I'm not guaranteed to have a thief deployed in chapters where there are doors and chests. Alright, Marcus doing good work. And the Nomad might even- yeah, the Nomad goes for him because he's low health. All right, and now clearing is out. Um, she recruits herself by talking to Roy, so she will come for him. So in this case, I think Marcus is the only one who can reach the square below the Nomad, but that's okay. Ellen can go, she can use her shiny new men staff on Marcus. Still not enough for a full heal. You can see these enemies hit pretty hard when a single enemy phase can almost take out Marcus. Let's just burn out this Iron Axe so I don't have a one use sitting in my convoy. I know that Don Don can plan ahead and make clever use of weapons that are about to break, but I don't do that. I am not Don Don. All right. Deke can wound here, and this time we can give the kill to Roy. Yep. Iron Sword Roy, good enough. He doesn't get a lot of XP anymore. Roy is our highest level unit. Sadly, he, he's still not that great, but... Soon, we might need to rely on him, because Marcus might not be around anymore. Okay. So... Now we can safely drop off Wool. Shanna can head for this village. That village isn't great either. It's the one down here that gives an angelic robe that's really good. But that one is also the hardest to get to, so we're not going to head there right now. Advance with Lou. And Axe Bros. Alright. 
And let's not have Merlinus ambushed and killed. Yeah. So those guys are going to try to take out the village, so somebody will have to stop them. They're not too hard to intercept. Right. There comes Clarine, so if we leave Roy in her range, we'll get another healer next turn. And it's turn five, so not this turn, but next turn, Wrecker will show up. So, Shanna gets us a steel blade, and then Kanto's back to safety. So we can actually start baiting out these calves. Iron sword, iron lamp. If we send Marcus to, yeah, the middle of the map. So he would be in Rutger's danger area here, but he should be able to tank all of these. He has, yeah, nine defense versus, yeah. They're not dealing 10 damage apiece. Okay. So let's heal Marcus again. And then have him kill some more calves for us. And everyone else just wants to stay out of range. And we're going to want to back up next turn anyway, so there's not a lot of point in bringing everyone out. Our calves can safely retreat back as far as they need to. good to have some people who can help with cleanup if Marcus doesn't kill something. Okay, that's probably enough units. So, the boss does warn us about Rutger is coming. Oh wow, Marcus doesn't actually one-shot that guy. Still trying to feed XP. Marcus has done a good job of hitting with the halberd. Its accuracy can be a little shaky, but Marcus does have good skill. And there's our new healer. So she can recruit Rutger. So we want to have her in position to do that. So Rutger is going to spawn here, two, three, four, five, and move to like right above where Marcus is. So I think we can feed Lou this kill and then rescue him out of there. Magic, that's good. And yeah, all we should have to deal with on enemy phase is the archer and I guess this brigand or pirate. Uh, actually, Roy can probably get some experience in against the pirates. That could be a good use of Roy, now that we've recruited Clarine. Uh, End up Marcus again. can weaken that archer.
Clarine can move to just outside of the archer's range to try to make sure she'll be able to talk to Rutger. Actually, she can heal Marcus, too. We want to get XP on all of our healers. Shanna can hang out down here. So, we'll just stick Roy in the forest since he can't reach the pirate this turn. You guys get out of the way. Deke could also be helpful against pirates. But... Well, if he gets attacked, it doesn't really matter. He, neither he nor Roy is countering. Okay. This looks good to me. Get you out of here and get Walt available to chip. And Boris to tank. Okay. Lovely box formation. There is Rutger. Rutger's spawn can be very nasty to blind players, because even if you know he's coming, you don't necessarily expect him to be this far forward and to move immediately. So, the first time I played, he was definitely scary. Alright, so this archer is blocking us from getting to Rutger. So we should get rid of him. I think... Marcus should get rid of this cab. He has a pretty good chance of doing that. But he failed. That's not great. Alright, what can we do against the archer? 92, 13. That's a good bit of damage. Lou can deal 9. Lance should be accurate. Oh, Lance can almost kill the fighter, which would also be useful. Actually, killing the fighter... We can potentially box in the archers if we can take out the fighter. Oh, and that archer doesn't double Wolt, so Wolt can actually live. Okay. So Walt plus Lamp should be enough to kill the fighter. And that opens a path to talk to Rutger. Now I don't... So you have 12 attack. So Clarine can live a shot. It's you! Oh yeah, she could also Kanto, but I do kind of like her blocking that archer. Well, I don't want her next to the cab if we don't kill the cab, so I guess we'll Kanto her up to here. So yeah, we basically want to surround everyone so they can't go for my most important unit, or units they can kill. Alright, Lou gets doubled by this guy. Wow, 10 speed! That is one speedy cavalier. So I think Shanna should be able to survive him. Yeah, she does no damage, but she can tank a hit. Rutger can easily kill a fighter. He could just kill this archer. Can he kill the cab? Not reliably. If he crits, he'll kill. But he does live two hits. Uh, okay. We've got to figure out how to do this. Roy could also contribute to killing the cab. With Rapier, he deals ten with decent reliability. And there are no more enemies coming from behind right now, so we just have to deal with these guys. 
So I think the priority is to make sure that even if our attacks miss, we can box everybody in. So if we have Rutger kill the fighter, two, three, four, five, two. so I think Shan is the only one who can reach this side of the archer. And then I don't think we have enough people to reach the other sides of this archer. Okay. So yeah, Alan doesn't get doubled, so Alan survives here might want to heal him first. We can rescue Clarine out of there if necessary. We can also probably kill this archer. Maybe we need to kill the Cav. Alright, Lou survives a hit from the archer. Lou also deals 10 to the cow. So like Lou, uh, Lou plus Rutger still doesn't quite get a kill, unless we get a crit. And Shanna can only block here, because she can't afford to be in range of an archer. have Rutger kill this archer, it opens space for more people to get over to here, but still not enough for anyone to block this space. So Alan has 9 speed, you have 7, and you only have an iron axe, so you're not getting weighed down, so Alan is not going to be able to kill that guy. So I believe the Cav should move before the Archer, I hope. Well, actually, the enemies don't want to go for Clarine anyway, except for Reinforcements and Eric. So Clarine should be fine. Uh, how much do I have to worry about Ellen? 15 attack, 16 HP. She lives. Okay. Let's go D, let's see, wait, 9, 10, 9, okay, so Iron Sword is good enough. Alright, be great if you could hit this, Lou. There we go. So that archer is dead. We don't have to worry about him. So this cab is limited in who he can get to. I think people here should be able to survive a hit. If Rutger kills the other archer, um, nine and 11, yeah, he can survive. Um, enemy phase. Lance can only get hit by one guy. 
Alan with a sword should also be able to survive enemy phase, so... Nice crit. So I believe we should be safe this way. And since the cab can't reach the forest, Roy can go and start fighting this guy. 100 hit versus 0 hit for you. It's always nice when the enemies have no chance of damaging you. Uh, we could have Lot maybe help to block here. Lot can live getting hit twice. And the enemy misses. And these guys can't reach. Yep. Alright, and now Roy can kill 100%. There we go. And next turn, we should be able to clean up the remaining enemies without too much issue. Okay. No. I guess we can bring Shanna down. She needs to go and grab the other village eventually. Alright, he goes for Marcus. And yeah, Lance survives, because he is fast enough to not get doubled. Alright. So I think that was the trickiest part of the chapter, dealt with with no deaths. Now, let's see, can we give this to Lou? So now we can surround the cab with our tankier units, and we will be fine. Actually, it might be easier. Uh, Blue doesn't quite get that one. We can use Marcus to soften this guy up. Marcus doesn't have great melee weapons right now. Rutger also should get an Iron Sword, so we don't waste the Killing Edge. Killing Edge is fairly valuable. Alright, you survived two hits. Let's use the Blade so we have a chance of dealing more decent damage, I think. Or we could just have Deke kill this. Well, let's see. Maybe... Alan can get this kill. Linus, let's get a sword, and oh, are we out of iron lances? I probably should have bought more of them. Well, we can buy more of this chapter. Um, I guess we'll just take two swords, and give one to Marcus. Wow, four damage. Might as well. And now Rutger can take a sword that isn't as valuable. And we can just slowly wear this guy down. HP skill luck, okay. Walt can do some chip. One damage. Hey, okay. it got some XP. Lance needs some healing. So what is Lou dealing? Ten. Okay, so one with Lance is actually good enough. 63... Yeah, we have better hit with the sword. And let's see if Lou can kill. There we go! Whole army collaborates to kill one cow. Magic again. This is, these are good Lou levels. He can hopefully be the clutch boss killer we need. 
The annoying thing when you come to these guys is they'll run into the water where you can't attack them. So I'm going to let them come to me. Or at least the hand axe ones will. And Chana can grab the robe next turn. Oh yeah, there is an archer over here. There's a couple of archers. Alright, who needs healing the most? Uh, let's heal Lance. And everyone else can just kind of meander their way forward. Wow, he actually hit Roy. Wow, more defense. This is a tanky Roy. Should be fine. What turn are we? Nine. Okay. So, a couple more turns till we get reinforcements. Uh, Shanna can grab the village and then canto one square right and be okay. Angelic robe received. Alright. So you have 8 speed, so I can throw people in there and be okay. Somebody needs to rescue Ellen. Let's not put... well, it doesn't really matter. Archer will have targets who can't counter. but why would you want to attack Marcus when you could go for Roy? Uh, actually, Clarion can heal deep. I'm keeping her and Rutger next to each other because they have a fairly fast support and it gives Rutger crit avoid which he appreciates since his luck is low enough that uh, Mercs will have crit on him pretty soon. Alright, get Ellen to safety. Advance the lamp. not too concerned about Roy soloing these pirates. Like we saw earlier that the hand axe guy had literally zero hit on him. So this guy has 13 hit, which is still pretty terrible. Let's get a kill. I should still probably have somebody there to save him if necessary, though, so we'll send Deke back this way. 
All right, we do want to go shopping at some point. We can gang up on this archer safely. Nope. To just use a sword. And you are fine HP. Yep. So the Walt line is safe. And let's have Marcus back here. We're going to get the reinforcements from behind pretty soon, so I don't want Roy to be overwhelmed by them. Lou, I'd like to use against the boss. Boris can help tank stuff. Lot could do... I believe the reinforcements all have lances. Let's have a healer back here. I don't think we'll necessarily need the halberd here, so I don't want to waste halberd. The reinforcement calves are a little weaker than the calves that start on the map. Actually, we can have Merlinus back here as bait if we need him. He doesn't have anything else important to do this map. Uh, okay, Shanna. Yeah. Shanna can wait. That is a lot of pirates. Archer use a sword this time. Good job. HP and luck, okay. How does Lou fare here? Not bad. We can get him some XP. Rutger would also, well, if he uses the Killing Edge, he can do pretty well. He faces crit though, so I'd rather not risk that. Alright, the way of the world is missing. Uh, oh boy, Alan faces crit too. Even with his support. Actually, I don't remember if that... I thought... I think that... I think it gives two crit avoid, maybe? Uh, so, Eric also has a javelin that I don't want him to switch to, so... I'm going to rescue drop Lou out of his range. On the other hand, Lance should be using a javelin so that he can counter that archer, I think. Yeah, Lance will be fast enough to not get double, so that should work. Roy is going to take a while to kill these pirates, so I think we do need Deke to help. So reinforcement should be here this turn. So they're like somewhere around here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put Marcus on the bridge. That seems like a good spot with hand axe for now. And then we have some room to retreat and enemy phase them again. Calves. 
All right, if you want to die to Deke, you can die to Deke. Wow, Marcus doubling. So our calves should be able to take this guy out. If Lance can ever hit anything. the forest your hit rate is really bad and you deal like five damage so I feel safe enough doing this get some help from Deke and yeah you all have iron lance so you are not that scary Let's just soften up one of the ones who can't counter. So I wonder, would Boris do okay against Eric? So... He only has four lot. You have six crit. Yeah. Once again. And you have 11 defense. Yeah. That... So you, you would die to a crit. Not really any better than Rutger. So we'll end here. we're not really feeding those calves to anyone, but we're at least preventing them from being a threat. Uh, does Deke kill this guy? No. So we can feed the kill to Roy. Actually, Roy's sword is about to break. So. HP skill luck. These are not great level ups, Roy. Marcus back since his HP is getting a bit low. Yeah, this is fine. Actually, Lot can do okay against these guys. I don't mind if you want to go for Lot. And heal up Marcus. Alright, turn 13. We need to get Eric killed soon. Alright, the armory is finally not in range of bandits. So we need some more lances. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's get a third one. And then we need some axes, so Wade can finally have weapons. Let's get another one for Marcus, say. Uh, we can get one more, they're cheap. 
and then some hand axes. Alright. Uh, next chapter, we'll get... Or, well, chapter 6, we'll get some more archers. We can get another bow. Uh, we will want... We still have a good number of javelins. I'll grab one more. And I think we're okay on swords for now. We'll save money and see what we need later. Oh yeah, we can canto after this, so we didn't even need to wait for the fighters to be out of the way. Oh well. So let's finally kill this guy. Well, that's not a good level either. Yeah, Lou is not going to kill this guy before the um, dragon shows up. So we might need to risk Rutger to the crit rate. Alan is better than the land. What's it this? Oh, I guess Merlinus has weapons now for Wade. Well, he can give him one next turn. And actually, just Walt. I should have, yeah, Walt does zero damage, so he's not going to get XP or any meaningful XP from chipping. All right. Chlorine can heal up Lance. And I think we're good. Roy is not doubling most of the pirates. Nice job, Lot. All right, more HP only levels. Turn 14. We do need to hurry here. Yeah, actually, Marcus is going to be our most reliable killer of the boss. So I think it's time to send Marcus over there. Uh, you will not be able to get Lot here. You will. Uh, 13 attack... Meh, lot will be okay. Well, he can take three nines. Okay. Let's try this. Got hit. Not great. You don't have a vulnerary. That's also not great. Okay, Ellen can heal you. And then Marcus can get Ellen out of there as he runs for the boss. Let's go, Marcus, faster than the Cav can follow. And yeah, next turn, Marcus can go after the boss. After Eric. Alan is here. And then we're going to need to rescue chain Roy. To get him to that throne. Okay. So we can keep chipping with Lou for now. Lou has made some decent progress. Maybe it's 1% crit. But we don't want to get killed by Dragon. But it's only 48. 50-50 eh, shot of 6 more damage. I think it's worth it. Alright. We're okay. Rescue Alan out of there. Rescue 
Give Wade his weapons. Oh well. And speaking of healing, let's pick up a heal staff. Let's get another couple of fires for Lou. And then some heal stabs for our healers. And I guess we can get a couple more vulnerabilities also. Might as well spend our money. Okay. There we go. Oh, you might go for Roy. I think I'm okay with that. So Roy can get a kill here. And then he's gonna have to run for it. Deke can help finish these guys off. You have a lance. Don't don't kill Roy. That would be very sad. But I mean, you only have 14 attack, and I'm on a force, so should be fine. turn 15. Dragon is going to show up this turn, which means we'd like to be able to see his next turn. So Halberd only has 35 hit. That is not very reliable. So I think this is a Silver Lance moment. Alright. Marcus should be able to get the kill on enemy phase. And if not, he and Lou can definitely do it next turn. Lot might be able to get this one. Nope. And he gets hit. That's not great. Alright. That worked. Please tell me Lot does it. Okay, yeah. Lot. 16 on... Oh, come on. 12 and... 9. Okay, Lot could die here. Please don't do that, Lot. I could... Technically rescue Lot. But then I don't have Kanto move. Alright, yeah. I should have copped that. But we can get Roy where he needs... Oh, actually... Uh, Merlinus can't quite reach far enough, I don't think. Okay, I can probably... 13 attack. I might be able to bait this guy into going for Ellen instead. Lot is... Yeah, Lot's not on very low HP yet. Okay, so I think he might prioritize it. Well, if this one goes first and hits Lot, he might go for Lot anyway. Is there... And they... Do they go after? This guy... If I could get someone down here, I could bait the Axe Fighter, but... Okay, Alan could actually drop someone there. So actually, I might be able to bait with Chad also. Because Chad is going to be low HP. So they might want to go for him. Particularly if I take away his weapons. Because Kareem can get there. Okay, let's try this. Okay. 
And yeah, 16 attack. Chad has uh, 2 defense, so he'll be okay. Oh, and I can even... No, I... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you can go for Chad, so hopefully they won't both gang up on Lot. And then we can rescue chain Roy over to here, which is within seizing range. Should be okay. Unless we cannot hit Eric, and then I will be sad. Alright, Eric is dead. No future for you. Strength on Marcus, always nice. Yep, as predicted, he goes for Chad, so Lot is safe. And he goes for Ellen. And there is Dragon. I guess we can maybe mop up these guys for XP. There we go. Uh, I don't know that we can kill this guy. Seven damage, but no one else damaging can reach. Oh well. All right, let's get out of here. And that was chapter four, complete in sixteen turns. <laughs> Definitely cut it a little close there, but everything worked out. Uh, we got the hits we needed. We manipulated the AI the way we needed to. So, next time will be chapter five, which is the last one where uh, we get to deploy everyone. After that, it's up to the luck of the dice. So, see you then.